What to do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. I need to apologize for this. I'm sick, y'all. I'm real sick, man. Uh, that's why y'all ain't really seen no blog from me in a couple days. Y'all saw me on a couple ones before that where I've just been blowing my nose and I done blew it so bad. I look like Rudolph, man. My stuff all red and messed up. Man, so I wasn't going to blog. I was just going to wait till this stuff passed over. But so many people calling me, man, brothers, you quit? You ain't doing no blogs? It's over all I'm like, man, I'm sick, fam. They like, so you were sick before? Do your blogs. <laughs> Can't get a day off with these brothers, man. Anyway, I want to address some things, though, man. Okay, saw some things I want to address. This, this might be my new... I, I might make a, a character out of this. This might be my super nigga outfit. <laughs> <laughs> Super nigga, <laughs> like, anyway, but uh, on some real stuff, I got some things to address. First of all, let me address Debo on some things. Hmm. So he's feeling some type of way because I spoke out about the Queen of the Ring event that took place with him and Twerk and Miss Hustle. He didn't like what I said. Even though he won't be specific on what I said because everything I said was the truth. Maybe he feeling some type of way because I said he too involved with these females. And I definitely believe you too involved with these damn females and you looking real self back out here. I said it, I meant it, and that's exactly how I feel. You can't challenge me on it because the facts is out here that actually bring speculation to you and your uh, motives and intentions behind whatever it is that got you fraternizing with these girls that's on this league with you, fam. Now, you can take it how you want, but it is what it is. So he decided to just take some shots, kissing up behind Angry Fan and... Jay Black ass, even though they put him out there every chance he get. But we finna talk about that in this blog. We finna talk about it, definitely. Now, let's get to the problem he having with me as far as like what he didn't like what I said. So what? You don't think that you too involved with these females? Well, let's investigate my claim versus your claim. And let's get one thing straight. I'm not finna be your Chris Unbiased replacement when you and Nick brother be going back and forth. I'm not going to be doing that with you, partner. I'm going to put this out here. I'm going to let it be, and then you can run whatever you want to run with. I tried to give you game on many levels to help your league improve. You don't want to listen, so you're going to continue to suffer from them situations. And I don't see how a person like you could even be involved in what you're doing, being as reckless as you is. Let me get into what I'm talking about. Since you had a problem with what I said. Well, you definitely going to have a problem with what I'm finna say now. You too involved with these females. Exhibit A, number one. Roll the footage. Oh, it's right here. Y'all know I can't use none of that footage. <laughs> Man, let me just put this out here. You did a blog with Miss Hustle. You and Miss Hustle sitting in the car. Miss Hustle calling you bitches in the car. You laughing with her while she calling you bitches. And you think that's cool, player? You don't think that's being too involved? Right. But you say, oh, me and her got a personal relationship. Listen, I don't give a damn how personal her relationship is with you. Regard that matter of fact, that should be one reason why you don't call me things like that because we got a personal relationship. It seems as if fam, that stuff that you doing is beyond just battle rap, just, just battle rap leagues and booking battlers. That girl sitting in the car calling you the B word more than one time. She said it twice. You told me you was married. 
And I'm pretty sure as a man, you don't allow your woman to call you them words like that. So why would you allow Miss Hustle to do it? You don't think they're too involved? You don't think that disrespectful? You don't think she was out of pocket and out of line? But you okay with that. Then she go on putting you out there even more by explaining and saying how fake your league is. She done effing with you. Talked about how you begged her, you you begged her to come back to Battle Rap to get your league on, back on track because it would fall, it fell off, and it wasn't nothing. And you needed her to put your league back on, back on. And that everybody came out to see her and nobody else that was on the car. Right. Then you go on record saying she showed up late to the battle at like 10 o'clock when she's supposed to have been there hours before that. So you had to come out of your pocket to pay extra money. Because she showed up late. But it didn't come out her second half. It didn't come out her second half. But you want to come out of your pocket to pay for extra time for a venue that she laid on. Why are you going out of your way for that girl? Please don't play that to me. Why are you going out of your way for that girl? She mess up the venue. She walk out on the battle. She cursing you out, calling you out your name. She say your league is trash, but you cool with her. That's your friend. That's your buddy. You got a personal relationship. Right. And it goes back to what I'm saying. That backs me up. You too damn involved with these females. You do more than what a league owner is supposed to be doing when dealing with these females. And it's very, it very suspect, player. Soon he slapped you. And you had nothing to do with the fight. That she was involved in. I don't think she slapped you. You don't think that was too far? You don't think that 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 that's not being too involved to some degree? What would make her want to swing off on you when you had nothing to do with it and she looking you dead in your face? Why is she trying to square with you and all you trying to do is stop and break up a fight? Right. Then Jab gone record talking about how you played her on the Snoop situation. Try to play her out of money and things like that. And lie to Snoop about her situation. Jazz did that. Right. Then Farrah go on uh, 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 Facebook. She blasted you and everything too. Right. So you got all these girls coming out on you. Then people. Then you got people from the battle rap community coming out on you. Talking about how when they be talking to these girls. And then you be trying to make it your bid to come to these girls defense. And all on social media. Uh, 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 getting into it with other people. Who speaking with, uh, on these girls. And you getting into it with them. Right. Right. Then they can't even do interviews. Without you having to be some type of chaperone. Chaperone behind them. While they doing the things. While they doing the interview. You just got to be present. As though you are Kelly and them. Making sure they say the right thing. And don't say nothing that's wrong. And out of pocket. Right. But you not too involved. Babs ain't doing it. Vague ain't doing it. But you doing it. Right. But then I'm saying this. And I'm wrong for it. Right. Then you on record on the Angry Fan Show saying that you heard Miss Hustle round. You knew how long her round was. You told her that it was okay that you was going to let her rock and do what she do. And the day of the event, the day of the event, you pulled Twerk to the side and tried to get Twerk to agree with it the day of the event. So who to blame, Devo? You to blame. But then you mad at me for addressing something. Look, I could only put out what's already out there. I'm not saying something that ain't made. Look, I'm not making up nothing that ain't put out there already that you ain't aware of. That you already know the truth about. Everything I'm saying is already put out there. What am I saying that's not true? What did I say that's not true? 
please explain that to me. What did I say that's not true and what's out there that I said that I lied about? You're not going to say it because it's not. But then you're going to say you're a man of responsibilities and when things is on you, you're man enough to accept your responsibility. Let me bang the gavel on your dumb ass because why you aren't accepting your responsibility and why you trying to be salty? Why you salty? Why you salty at the truth that's out here, but yet you a man of responsibilities to the point that if it's on you, you're going to accept your responsibility. You messed up that Miss Twerk, that Miss Twerk, that Miss Hustle in New Jersey Twerk battle. You messed that up because you were playing both sides all the way up to the day of the battle, only for it to backfire in your face. So rather people blame it. New Jersey twerk and Miss Hustle. Now since the real truth is out there, the person who really to blame is you, Devo. Is you. Miss Hustle put out a, another tweet, and she said in the tweet, you told her, this is your house. You can rock how long you want to. He coming to your place. He coming to your building. And then she challenged you and dared you to say that it's a lie. And if you say that it's a lie, she's going to release receipts on you disrespecting the rest of the girls on the Queen of the Ring platform. Now, how does she got all that information like that from you? To the point that if you say something about her that's not true or challenge her on what she's saying, she's going to expose you and release receipts proving how you feel about the rest of the girls on your lead. But you ain't got no problem with her, right? Because she blackmailing you. She got you. She got your balls in the clutch of her hand. So you can't say nothing to her. So you want to turn on the battle rap uh, media. You want to turn on the battle rap bloggers. Then you want to kiss Angry Fan and Jay Black ass. Well, let's talk about the two guys who ass you kissing. So Jay Black put your numbers out there. He put your pay-per-view numbers out there. Here's my question. Why did Jay Black not care about putting your pay-per-view numbers out there, but he won't put the URL pay-per-view number counts out there? Why was he so freely easy to do that, to put you out there like that, without him knowing he actually just opened the door on URL also? So why you kissing Jay Black ass? Why did he just put your whole entire brand on blast by exposing the number of pay-per-views that was purchased the day of that event showing what you calculating and what you bringing in and out so the girl can have an idea of what they being allegedly robbed of. Why you ain't saying nothing about that? No, you ain't got nothing to say, huh? Right. But I guarantee you we're not going to see no URL pay-per-view count. I guarantee you that. I guarantee you Jay Black ain't putting that out there. Oh, I'm going to talk about a lot of things today. I'm going to put on a lot of things today. Don't even worry about it. But I need to address you on this. Since you acting like a damn clown. And you want to sit here and kiss ass. And I thought you was a stand-up dude. And it's obvious you not. Then let's go to Angry Fan. You on an angry fan show and you trying to kiss his ass or you know, you did the number one uh uh radio show. I don't listen to nobody. I listen to just uh Jay Black and you. Y'all the only two I listen to. Man, shut up. You listen to every damn body. That's why you got a problem. You listen to every damn body. But the dudes who you crying and whining and kissing ass to, every chance they get, they throw your ass under the bus. Cap throw you up under the bus so many times, it ain't even funny. And even while you kissing his ass on his show, he's still throwing you under the bus. But you'll do anything for attention. You sit here and you cry and you beg for battle rap media to support your events and the things that you're doing. Then you piss on all the battle rap media. So since you only watch Jay Black and Angry Fan, then guess what? Don't, 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 don't. don't don't look and expect anything to come from nobody else of us. Not not a Vodafly, not a Piper Boy, not a DME Detroit, not a fan point of view, not a Coon Gang, not a uh uh Crucial 13, not a Osmo Hip Hop, not a Oracle Media Source. So since you want to kiss they ass, guess what? 
We're going to see how much they really support you and what you do. Let's see that. Let's see that. Since that's what you want to do, since them the only two you listen to and everybody else just cornballs. Right. You ain't even a smart business owner, man. You reckless as hell, dog. You don't know nothing you talking about, dude. You would never see ARP saying some stupid stuff like that. And I don't even think he'd get along with me. But you would never hear him come out and say, uh, yeah, battle truth. Don't, I don't listen to him. I don't rock with him. Uh-uh. He would never say that. Cause he know he cause he know regard to how he feel about me, just like Beef and Smack now. They know what I do. Let me tell you something. I bring money to the game, whether you want to accept it or not. Whether I'm paying for these events that's happening and, 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 and urging my people to pay for it also, and doing free promotion on the side, whether good or bad, it still bring money. It's bringing money. Even from the battles I watch. Even from the battles I watch. You so damn dumb, you don't even know what you just did. You don't even know what you just did. Because you just pop off at the mouth. And you don't and you don't move like a stand-up genuine dude saying that stupid stuff out your mouth. Then these two clowns on there begging for Chris Unbiased to come back. Oh, I, I miss Chris. I, I, I'm going to get angry fan ass too. He next. But right now, this on you, Devo. We talking about you. Dude, you too damn involved with them female fam, man. I ain't stupid by far, man. And it's showing. Every chance they get, they throw you under the bus, say something disrespectful to you, and then when you uh, 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 called out on your trash, you want to make up these excuses. Then you try to throw battle rap media under the bus because you ain't man enough to accept your responsibilities of where you went wrong. And like I said, name one damn thing I said that was false and wasn't true. Because we got the footage and video of Hustler Hustle sitting in the car with you calling you bitches. That's on there. We got the footage of Jazz exposing you for playing her when it came to gladiating school with Snoop Dogg. We got the footage of uh, uh, Sony swinging on you that you called me. Like, hey, could you take that down? Because uh, I got a family and all that. We got that damn footage. We got the footage of Farrah on, 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 on Facebook blasting you. We also got the footage of 40 bars doing the same damn thing. You fake, dude. You fake as hell. You got on Jay Black show with 40 bars on there. And 40 bars mentioned, uh, uh, and 40 bars mentioned um, Angry Fan. And soon she mentioned angry fan on Jay Black show. You know what she said? You can't say that. You can't say that. We don't mention other people, other bloggers on, on, on this platform. But then you got the angry fan platform and you happily mentioned Jay Black on angry fan platform. So which one is it? So which one is it, fam? Right. You fake as hell, dog. You fake as hell, man. Don't never try to call me out on some real stuff. Just be man enough to accept your responsibilities and what's really real, man, and what really went on. Because at the end of the day, fam, call me on something that I did wrong. You messed that battle up, and you don't want to accept responsibilities of it. As a real league owner, you know what you should have did? You should have said, that's on me. I wanted this battle to happen so bad, man. Hustle was coming back. She's making her return. We ain't gave y'all an event, man, in like over a year or so, man. So I wanted to make sure this event went well and that she had good material, man, so it would be memorable, man. So I told her, yeah, you can go ahead and rock with your, uh, you can go ahead and rock with your, 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 your round, man. I know it's nine minutes, then I went to twerk. You should have told him out the gate. You should have talked to twerk like a man since you're talking this man talk. You should have told twerk like, look, man. My league is in the slump, man. Miss Hustle coming back, man. You know, I need her to really promote this thing, man. She got nine minutes, bro. Could you please look out for me on that, man? I don't care if you ain't even got your stuff all the way finished. So even if you ain't got your stuff all the way finished, that's even more better for her to rock for nine minutes, man. Just, would you mind just letting her rock, fam? Would you mind just letting her rock? But you want to wait till the day of the battle to tell this man that. You should have let that man know that even before that. Who, 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 that goes to show how you off balance mentally, fam. 
How you didn't know that that was going to explode in your face, man? When you promising two people two different things and now they face to face with each other. Who who you think that's going to point to? Come on, man. Get up out of here. And then you're talking about all the other bloggers and stuff. Okay. 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 And that's why I be saying about some of these leagues that be doing that stuff and talking that stuff and saying that. Don't expect nothing from us, fam. Don't expect nothing from us at all. Period. You don't even know how to work like a real businessman. And let me just show you just how off balance you is again. You got all them girls, right, at your disposal. You can just call up. Why you ain't got no platform set up for them so it can be queen of the ring bloggers? So you don't have to have Jay Black, Angry Fan, me, Piper Boy, Butterfly, DME Detroit, all the Crucial 13, them, Oracle Media Sword. You don't need you don't need none of this. Battle Don, you don't need none of this. You don't need none of that. You didn't need none of that. Whether you want to accept it or not, whether you want to respect, respect it or not, it's a whole new era, man. It's a whole new era. It's a whole new ball, ball game. You know what makes these bloggers in this era right now better than Jay Black, unbiased, and angry fan? We don't kiss ass. We don't need y'all approval. We don't care about... We don't care about getting the ticket from y'all. We don't care about y'all mentioning our name. We don't care about y'all wanting to give us a damn interview. For the most part, we stand on the truth and we tell it like it is. And it ain't never been this exciting in battle rap blogging ever before in history. Thanks to this, thanks to this new wave y'all trying to so-called hate on because it don't praise and kiss y'all ass. And it don't let y'all get away with things when y'all robbing the battle rap community. When y'all doing these shifty moves that clearly seen that J. Black, Angry Fan, Chris Unbias, them the ass kissers. Who would have just left past because they knew y'all was coming on 24 hours later? But it is what it is. But it is what it is. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't finna be your new Chris Unbiased. So don't play me like that, dog. You say you a man of responsibilities. You say when it's on you, it's on you. When you accept your responsibility, then accept it. And stop front. At the end of the day, it is what it is. I told you, you should have went co-ed. You don't want to listen. You don't want to listen. Queen of the Ring is definitely not back. Them girls going to fight at your venue, and they going to mess up your venue, mess up your name, mess up your brand, because they too damn emotional. And you know that, you see that, but you don't want to transition. You act like they blackmailing you or got some type of evidence on you on some stuff. So you try to be real, real calm and humble with how you talk and address them because you know they'll put you out there. I ain't stupid by far. Miss Hustle says she got receipts on you. And you shut your damn mouth and got quiet. So I wonder what the hell type of receipt she got on you. To the point that they putting you out there. They putting you out there. Ain't nothing that we talking about in addressing that we making up for our own. They put that out there. Right. It got to be some type of truth to it because you definitely ain't say nothing. Get up out of here, man. Then you want to apologize afterwards. Then you charging people 40 damn dollars. 40 damn dollars for a pay-per-view on a one-round battle, which is your main event, a one-round battle. 40 damn dollars. The same price as a URL event. Get up out of here, dog. Y'all just some robbers. Y'all some thieves, man. And that always backfire on you. You made 8,000 pay-per-view sales. You could have made 50. You could have made 50. You could have made 50,000. Could have made 100,000. But greed. Greed wouldn't allow you to be reasonable to the people. You wanted to bank out as much as you could. Only for it to backfire on you and give you back another bad name. This your boy Battle Truth. It ain't my judgment that's some question. It's yours. So when you calling out for me, fam, tell the truth. 
Tell the truth. Just like I'm telling the truth when it comes to you. Subscribe to Battle Truth. It ain't my judgment, that's a question. It's yours.